Who is Magistrate Chinere Normale? Is she truly the first cousin of Mr. Willie Amadi? If the answer is yes, is there not a conflict of interest? And based on that, does the legal profession ethics not say she should recuse herself from the case since she is now a prejudiced party of the case? If she has refused to recuse herself, or did not recuse herself, does that not amount to abuse of the profession's ethics and her position as magistrate? Hmm. Questions begging for answers. What jurisdictional abracadabra moved the case from Wiri to Isu, where you have Mr. William Maddy's first cousin, Mrs. Enoramele? Magistrate. It can't be sheer coincidence, no. So why was she in a hurry to send this boy to prison? Is this because there's something to hide? Or what exactly, what kangaroo process went on? Umuimo. As I say, it is time for all of you to begin to demand justice and accountability. If we allow this 20-year-old to spend 12 months of his life in prison for admitting to have committed a crime that we all know is not technically possible for him to commit as at today then we are helping set a precedence that will be destructive for emo people what it would mean is that any poor young boy or lady can be picked up accused and made to confess and then end up in prison and we cannot let that happen the judiciary is the last point of hope for the poor man. And Nigerians are hungry for justice, equity, and fairness. And we need to begin to stand there. So, again, let me ask, are there no lawyers in a worry? Are there no human rights activists? in emo state is there no one who can stand up and appeal this case because from where i stand and the way that i see it the only offense this young man may have committed is being poor and coming from a poor home